Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Nick Walsh, and I'm excited to share a few of our recent launches with you today. First, we have the general availability release of Amazon Fraud Detector. This managed AI service makes it easy to detect potential online fraud faster using machine learning and 20 plus years of fraud detection expertise at Amazon. Some of the most common online fraud vectors can be addressed with Fraud Detector, including new account creation and transaction fraud. Additionally, customers can apply custom events like vending the distribution of loyalty points. Once you've gathered your labeled historical data set, Fraud Detector makes it easy to get started in just a few steps. Once deployed, predicting fraud with a trained detector is available through a simple prediction API call. To see the process of building and deploying a detector, check out the blog post below. Shifting gears, let's take a second to talk about the latest from EC2 in the compute space, NVMe-based storage variants for Graviton2 instances. Back in June, sixth gen M, C, and R class EC2 instances were released, powered by AWS's in house ARM based Graviton 2 processors and built on the AWS Nitro system. Customers have seen significant cost performance benefits from Graviton 2 based instances, which makes me happy to share the newest variants, now with local NVMe based SSD storage. The D EC2 instance variant, offering high speed, low latency NVMe storage, can be accessed today through the M6GD, C6GD, and R6GD instance types. No matter your workload size, there are plenty of choices to be had. Local SSD storage volumes scale from 59 gigabytes all the way up to 3.8 terabytes. For a comprehensive breakdown of all possible instance configurations, check out the table in Seb's announcement blog posts. Lastly, I'm quite excited about the launch of Amazon Translate support for Office documents, because in our increasingly global world, internationalization has become more important than ever. With Amazon Translate, users can now translate native Office document types, such as documents, PowerPoints, and Excel sheets, offering a significant improvement in translation workflows. Authoring a document in a single language and then localizing it for various regions and target languages is an extremely common practice, but it isn't without its challenges. Traditionally, customers would need to build elaborate pipelines to extract, process, and recompile that content or manually manage a staff of translators. So what does this look like? Well. Customers can simply call the Translate Service API with the location of their corresponding .docx, .pptx, or .xslx files, along with the source and target language codes. Once processing is complete, they can expect to find a natively translated document in the same format as the source directly in Amazon S3. For more information on the latest feature from Translate, refer to Julianne's blog post. As always, we look forward to your feedback. You can send us an email, a tweet, or leave a comment below. To see more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching. We're excited to see what you built.